creating a basic order form. Let's start with a blank slate. I'm going to create a cupcake order form. First, I would like to add a title to my form using a section. I want my title to be large and centered. Next, I will need to begin adding my products and options. You can use select list field, radio button fields, checkbox fields, or number fields to add a product and value. Select list and checkbox fields allow for multiple selections in a single field. Radio button fields only allow for one selection, and a number field allows you to display a set price. I'm going to use a radio button field because I only want individuals to order one cupcake. I'm going to drag the radio button field over to my form and edit the field. My field label will be type of cupcake. My options will be vanilla, chocolate, and red velvet. I will have separate prices for each cupcake, so I need to check use separate values and add my prices. It's important to note that these prices must be unique. So if I had two cupcakes that cost $2.25, I would need to write one as 2.25 and one as 2.250. Next, I need to add my icing type field. I will also use a radio button field for this. I'm not charging separately for icing types, so I don't need to add separate values. Next, I need to know how many cupcakes individuals would like to order. For this, I will use a number field. I'm going to cap this field at a minimum value of zero so that individuals cannot order less than zero cupcakes. You may wish to put a maximum value on this field if you are trying to control inventory or have a limited amount of product. Next, I will create a total field. Since I only have one product and a quantity field, this will be easy. This field will be read-only because I don't want individuals to edit their total amount due. Since it will be a dollar value, I'm going to add two decimal places and set the currency to US dollars. We don't have to add a minimum or maximum value because the field is read-only. I'm going to use a calculation to determine this field value. I'm going to multiply the type of cupcake times the number of cupcakes and save. Next, I need to know when individuals need their cupcakes by. So I will just drag over a date and time field and edit it to the format I like. This does not need to go back in time, so I'm going to put negative zero years. Next, we will need to add some identifying information so I know where the order goes to. We can just drag and drop these fields over to the form. Name, email address, phone number, and address. Next, 
we can title our form. And set a theme. I have already created a theme for my cupcake order form. So I will go ahead and apply that and preview my form.